firstly, Stephen, thank you for sitting down with me. Absolutely loving this show. So this is one of my shows that I got, I called up on during quarantine and I, I feel like a fool for waiting so long. So <laughs> firstly, what has it been like just to be with this character for five years now, five or six years now? What has it been like, man? It's been amazing, man. I mean, it's been truly the most gratifying creative experience of my career. I, I was a fan of the books before I knew it was being adapted. So I came in as a fan and to, and to play the evolution that is so big for this character. You know, we plotted it from the very beginning mm -hmm. to have this idealistic young man through all of these messy and hard experiences arrive in this season as, as a leader who's confident in his abilities uh, in a very realistic way. Uh, every step of the way has been earned. You know, for an actor, that's the greatest, it's the greatest joy you could possibly ask for. I mean, it's so rare that you get that opportunity. So it's been, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing ride. Now that we got to see your character at the beginning of the season, he's kind of like, like you said, he's been going through this hero journey that he's been on. And now he's kind of dealt with what he's had to deal with in the season finale of season four. What can you talk about where he's at in this current season? Sure. Yeah. I think we find Holden with his feet on the ground, you know, again, he's, He's confident in his abilities. He's seen the rise and fall of civilizations. He's been witness to genocides. He's gone through all kinds of horrible stuff over the last couple of years that's nearly broken him. But through that, he's become really kind of rock solid as a, as a leader. However, his family unit, which has been his rock uh, and his anchor through all of this, splits apart in the beginning of the season. You know, Amos is on Earth, Naomi goes after her son, Alex is on Mars. Um, so he's left alone with this journey for the first time, really. And with Miller gone, he's really the only one left concerned with what he knows is in those gates. Mm. The specter of what kind of danger humanity is in using them. You know, things that killed a much more advanced civilization off in the blink of an eye. Uh, that people just refuse to pay attention to because they're so busy fighting with each other. Uh, and Holden is really the only one who everyone speaks to, you know, right. so he finds himself in, the, in this middle place of trying to convince everybody to just put the weapons down for a second and look at the train that's coming for everybody. Um, so, but he's on his own, you know, so I think there's the mirroring of that storyline and also mm. trying to get back to his family uh, while all of this craziness is going on. And I think, He's deeply afraid this year that he won't be able to find them. And um, that's, you know, that's where he's at. I haven't read the book, so I don't want to spoil myself. But can you just talk about that, like what it has been like having to shoot and be away from that now that you built that such core chemistry, such core cast, and now you have to be separated. Can you talk about that and like having to work opposite? Of course, yeah. No, we, we like the Rossi crew, have become a family. You know, mm -hmm. like that really mirrors what we've been doing. We've had the same crew, the same, a lot of the same actors, most of the same directors from the very beginning. And, you know, I've always said this show feels more like a theater company than it does a TV show. Like we're, it's very collaborative. We rehearse all weekend. We've never missed one since the first episode of the first season. We've really poured our heart and soul into this show. Mm. And, um, you know, so we, we all rehearse with each other on the weekends. And then this past season, we're going shoot separately, which was, which was, strange um but you know again it speaks to the confidence in the writing you know it's very rare that you see the writers shake up a structural dynamic it's five seasons in when things are working when things are successful it, it's a lot of creative risk and mm -hmm. uh, they had a lot of confidence uh, in themselves and in us to be able to pull that off and um you know for us it's we love a challenge we love being able to push ourselves to to make it a little better every year. And, um, you know, the, the challenge is the joy, right? I mean, like, that's kind of, that's kind of where we're always at. And, uh, and this season was no different, you know, the, the journey to get back to each other, uh, the search to get back to each other uh, is always there. We desperately care about each other. So that, that rings true, even in the silent moments, you know, in this season. I'm getting the wrap up time. I want to ask you one more question. Personally, Sky High was one of my childhood movies. It, it was, I, like, I, I still watch that. it to this day. <laughs> so would you be down to reprise a role as War and Peace, like on a Disney Plus series or something? Like maybe he has kids now. We all know him and Layla are in game. So I feel like they'd be a couple. So would you be down for that, sir? I, I loved making that movie, man. I would certainly consider it. I Hell made, yeah. It was, it was my first film right out of high school. Big moment for me. I was 18 years old. Oh, uh, wow. Well, yeah. I love I love that experience and they're awesome people. 
Well, I got to say thank you again, Stephen, for sitting down with me. Absolutely loving this season so far, and I can't wait to sit down and watch the rest of it. So thank you again, man. You have a great day. Good to meet you. Thanks so much.